Hi, welcome to Five Parks. I'm Dr. Jim. Let me show you around. This is Jennifer. She's at our front desk. She's the one that takes care of the kiddos when I'm not with her. So she is a grandma and she's very, very helpful for your children. As you can tell, we went through a door. So if there are children in the office and we are adjusting mom or dad, the office is secure. We also have a PlayStation for our children to play with. Well, let me show you around. Back here is our consultation room. This is where I ask you what your needs are. Um, oh, before I do that, let me also tell you that prior to coming into the office, Jennifer has communicated with you verbally and through email, so we have all your paperwork already prepared in the office before you get here. We want to be very, very efficient with your time, and I need some preparation to know what your needs are before you get here. But here's where we talk about your concerns and what I must possibly might be able to help you with. Just immediately to our other side is our massage room. So you can see it's a very attractive, comfortable room. Let me also show you our family tree. These are all the kiddos, actually technically not all of them. We've missed a few over the years, but we love to celebrate children in this office. This is one of our adjustments rooms in here. So both of these rooms are, are identical with the same equipment. And earlier, a little later in this video, I'm gonna actually explain a little bit more about our technical approach to the needs of you or your children. In this office over here, this is where we do our nerve scans. We use a process that's called the Insight Scanner and it measures your neurology. Stay tuned for more information on that later in this video. The other room is right here that I Again, we'll show you later. Now, as far as the convenience of seeing our clients, this is what we call a family adjustment room. So we can put mom, dad, and siblings here, and I can take care of the, ch of the child and the children here. We have Rocky Horses, which the kids love. This place gets a little, you know, let's just say fun, uh, but I'm a dad of four boys, so I'm very used to fun. Um, but we do a lot of work with children so that they feel very comfortable. I'll honestly tell you, the 32 years that I've been practicing, most children are gonna have a little apprehension on their first visit with me. I don't exactly know why, but the assumption is that they've gone to any doctor, they've gotten a poke, they've gotten a needle, it hurts. And they're kind of equating that experience here. So after I've seen them once or twice and they don't get any real discovery, then they're usually running around this place again like little children run around in the park. They're just kind of all over. We're back to the fun again, right? But we work with instruments that we can help our children and even our adolescents. And this is kind of what it looks like and sounds like. It's basically a tapping tool. And what this tapping tool does is it targets special nerves in our spine called proprioceptive nerves, which to make it simple is the neurological equivalent of what your body needs for movement and alignment. So proprioception simply means I can tell that my elbow's bent without looking at it. I can perceive my body's precision position. That's proprioception. So when we tap on those nerves, it kind of reignites that brain and body connection in its sense of awareness of movement and alignment. We also work with a, a fiber cusser. Now this is a tool that we use to work on the body's fascia. I'm sure you've all heard of that before. Myofascia, again the derivative myo means muscle. So basically fascia or myofascia is the connective tissue of muscle. These can get into patterns. And technically, everything gets into a pattern. Everything in nature has patterns, sun up, sun down, you know. So we could have an injury to a muscle or a pattern of a lot of chronic tension, and then the fascia literally has a pattern and a memory of what you've gone through. So we can actually retrain some of those fascial patterns. We call it neuromuscular you know, uh, release. So it's an excellent way of changing again your body's patterns with hopefully restoring it back to you know, our beginnings. Um, we also work a lot with pregnancy. This table is designed for pregnancy. So when mom is in her you know, second, even third trimester, she can lay here with the baby going into this area and this headpiece adjusts so that they can find a comfortable way to lay face down. Another option we have for pregnancy is that we use our pregnancy pillows. Now, as you can see, these give it all the way down. So we can put a full-term mama on that thing without any challenges. And 
of course, we have special bed rest for mom during these procedures. So it's very convenient to get adjusted. And I don't know if you've ever been adjusted, maybe you're just wondering what it feels like. It really is a pleasant experience. There are times when it can be a little bit of an owie, but we never want those to linger more than a day. But 99% of the time, patients are going, oh, dogs, thanks, that feels good. So we're really trying to help you, not only with an experience that feels welcoming and successful, but also helping you understand that the resolution of these challenges takes time. It takes repetitive adjustments. We do what are called care plans. So we see people on a regular basis for a time period to retrain and restore your body via the nervous system. In science, we call that neuroplasticity, kind of a complicated word. But ultimately, it means how do we learn? How does a human experience learn? And to make that very simple, it needs a stimulus that's repeated. So if you want to learn to play the piano, you've got to hit the keys over and over and over, right? You have to practice, like anything, like a sport or anything. But like everything we practice, we don't want to practice bad habits. So we have to measure our, our behavior. We have to listen or record what we play on the piano. We have to have a coach maybe letting us know about our follow through or how good our, if we're in pitch on the piano, these kind of examples. So we use that nerve scan, we repeat the nerve scan every 12th adjustment, so we actually measure the change or lack of change in your body's physiology, because we need to know where we're going. 